Hi there VC, Steve Whitty here. Um, it's Sunday, it's time for another video. Apologies for the lack of video last week. Um, no real excuse, I just couldn't be asked to do one last week. Um, I hadn't even got me thinking head on on what, to, what I wanted to do. Um, so I uh, decided rather than do some off the hoof, just not bother. So apologies for that. Um, to be honest, I haven't really been watching many VC videos. Um, it's not a good way to start a um, um, video, but uh, football's back on, and I think that sort of did divert the attention. And some, sometimes I do find that um, after watching some videos, they, they tend to be a bit samey, so I just need to take a bit of a break from it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, just having that little bit of a couple of week break and then just doing a new one will get me back into the swing of things. I have watched a few videos. I've been checking, uh, keep keeping on Steve Carlson and his situation. Um, so pleased that people have helped him out, get sending him records to help rebuild his collection. I know he's really, from looking at his post, his Instagram post, he's really pleased that uh, to getting them. And though he won't say it, I think you know it's uh, quietly. Um, I think he's quietly chuffed about to about Barry's what what you know about the love that's been sent to him. Um, I have been watching Richard Mc, did watch Richard McCook's video a couple of days ago. I'd seen responses he'd put it up there. I just hadn't got around to watching it, but I'd started seeing responses, and I thought I'd best watch it um, in order to do this video, which is the contest entry to his five hundred contest video. Uh, contest. Um, yeah. Let me start again. This video is going to be his entry to his 500 sub contest. Um, Richard, he's makes some great videos, um, and he's always he's been very vocal commenting on mine. I think you know he gets a bit pissed off when I don't do a video on on, on a Sunday. So yeah, you know, I think he's half expecting this. Um, the contest, if I vaguely get 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 the gist of it, you've got to a sort of like a sampler album of your favourite artists. The caveat is that you cannot include singles that were released in the UK. Now, it quite obviously, you know, there's, it gave a lot of scope and I was struggling to think of an artist. It had been too obvious in the UK to just go on Led Zeppelin because apart from A Whole Lot of Love, which was pressed to be a single, they never released singles. So I could have just picked six random Led Zeppelin tracks that would have been too obvious. Then I thought, should I go for something a bit more obscure? And then I thought, you know, just actually trying to explain myself a little bit on, on the tracks. So I thought, in the end, I'm going to stick to a group that I know and I love. And that's Rush. Kel Surprise. <laughs> um, so, sort of helpful with, with Rush is in the first three albums were never released uh, at time issued at the time of release, so any singles were never any singles issued. They were only available by import. So track one, I'm going to pick is from their debut album, and I'm going to choose the track, the closing track on the album, um, "Working Man." This represents um, Rush at that time. They were a power trio, um, very influenced by Cream Zeppelin. The Who, um, and the whole album is just a lot, a lot of riffs in here. Um, but to me, this that is the best track to uh, on the album. It's a good play to start with. Rush is something from their debut album. There's the band at that time with John Rutsey on drums. Next, I've gone for track off the second album, Fly By Night, and I've chosen um, the closing track on side one. I hope you can see that. Take, take it off there. That might be better. Which is Bytor and the Snow Dog. And it's the first of the epic Rush tracks that they became to be known for. Um, and I think it's a good place to start to say the influence and the appear in the band. Um, the the lyrics, um, the sort of the, 
the sort of where he was at the time, a lot of t t Tolkien esque imagery, uh, which was prevalent at that time, prog rock. So. I've gone for the third track is off their third album, Caress of Steel. And the track I've chosen, because it was never re released in the US at the time of release, but it was never released in the UK. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it's, it's quite a dark cover. It's Lakeside Park, which is the third track on side one. I've gone chosen this. Um, it's very much, the song's very much a sort of like harking back to to a place that he knew growing up. Um, he, 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 um, Neil Peart um, sort of highlights the firework display that happened. And I'm pretty, partly really showing this because um, I've read this week, since he passed away, uh, they've been pushing to put some sort of monument in Lakeside Park to honour him. And I think of what I've read, if I've read this right, there's going to be some sort of pavilion named after him, or named in honour of him. So that's a fit, fitting tribute. Moving on, I've skipped a few albums. I've gone for a track off Hemispheres for track four. And the track I've gone for, and I was surprised it was never released in the UK, is the second track on side two, The Trees. And then doing my sort of room my research, there was no singles re released off Hemispheres. Um, partly because of the four track four album, the four track album. Um and the trees sort of like uh, sort of like um using the oaks and the maples and story um sort of um sort of looking about pressure and you know, being the oaks growing um having everything while the maples struggled for whatever was left. Um sort of a tale that could be said for today actually. Um a lot of oppression that's going on at the moment. Um Track five, I've gone for something off their Moving Pictures album. And it's the closing track on side one. This was never released as a single in the UK. This is Limelight. I don't know why I showed you that, is it? You're just never going to see that, isn't it? Suddenly, it's, suddenly as I've st started doing the video, the light's gone a little bit. Um, the one thing Neil Peart... Um, and I think the whole band wasn't quite is obviously when you become successful, um, everybody wants a piece of you. Um, total strangers want a piece of you, and I think all they wanted to be was the best musicians they could. And this song sort of reflects that. Um, it the struggle of tr trying to balance the two, um, and then the final track, track six. I've gone for. Um, the opening track on side two of the Signals album, which was released in '82, and that's the Weapon. One of these tracks that um, sort of builds up um, from a slow start and slowly builds up. It's a, it's a song about you know about a sort of I don't know maybe it's a sort of anti-war song. It slowly builds up, then it sort of like. Builds up right towards the end as the guitar solo break, breaks in and sort of like, um, sort of bands in like an explosion. And I was fortunate to see that band on this tour and they did perform it and they did have these like the flash bombs go off as, as it would then, um, in the indoor arena. And it was quite actually quite, I think mean, the guy I went with, the um, who went with, went with it, he said that was the best song on, on the actual set list, um. Uh, I actually it is one probably my favourite song on this album. Um, no doubt next week will be subdivision, but that was a single released <laughs> in the in the UK, so I couldn't chose chose that, nor could I choose Countdown. Um, so there you go. I hope that meets with your approval, uh, Richard. Um, yeah, the one thing I'm going to say, if I am fortunate enough to be picked. I'd rather you gave donate the prize money to the local NHS a local NHS charity. Um, I think it's um, 
I think I think there's more wor worthy causes than me getting the, getting the prize. If um, if to be uh, to be honest with you, Richard, if it uh, if I was the lucky one to be selected, but that's just my my my, cap, my personal thing on that. Um, yes, so yes, it's a bit, been a bit of a funny week. Um, I developed a bit of stomach trouble on Thursday. Um, just literally just came on home. Uh, I went for a, a little run on Thursday morning, went out and did some shopping, was doing work, and then about two o'clock, um, it just felt like the world had fallen out the bottom. Um, and um, <laughs> I, I knew it weren't COVID because my sense of smell hadn't gone. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, it, it, fortunately it was a, just a 24 hour thing. It was just had a rough night. Got some imodium the next day and everything seems to be settled. I've been for a run this morning already and I'm about to do myself some breakfast once I've um, finished shooting this. So, and hopefully I'll catch up with Richard and a few of the guys tomorrow. We've got a Zoom um, chat planned for tomorrow night. Um, so, a bit, 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 bit of a ramble this video. If you've stumbled across the channel and you like what you see, just click on the subscribe button. Um, Thumbs up, thumbs down, like the interaction. Feel free to comment, I will get back to you. Um, and whatever you get up to DC, make sure it's a good day today. Um, just remember that, um, you know, we're, we all share the same planet. Um, and we've, you know, and it's, you know it's, I think it's imperative that we all get along with each other, learn from each other. Um, which I think is important. Be influenced by each other, um, and just love one another. So wherever you do, keep spinning. Take care. Keep spinning. More importantly, keep smiling.